Good morning here in Vietnam and down this cool little alley where there's actually this uh, laptop shop, which is really funny in Vietnam. You'll have like a cool little alley with a coffee shop over here and then a gaming laptop shop. So I'm here to get a new laptop and hopefully I'll be able to pick it up today, which will mean more and better videos coming on this channel. So let's see how the day goes. So I just picked up my laptop now, which I'm really pumped about. But right now I'm gonna get some kumga, which is rice with chicken, uh, just at this little local street food place. Hey everyone, so I'm about to take a trip to Da Nang, Vietnam, which is in the center of the country. Uh, gonna fly up there from here, Ho Chi Minh City, tomorrow and travel around a little bit there. It's gonna be a great trip. I'm looking forward to showing you. So there's gonna be some really cool videos coming up from that part of the world, which is just beautiful. Uh, but right now I'm packing and I've got everything laid out behind me here. So I thought I'd just show you what's in my travel bag because I know a lot of you like these kinds of videos to see you know, what you should and shouldn't take and uh, basically just show you how I do it and how I like to do it very simply. I don't like to travel with too much stuff. So let's crack into it. Alright, so there we have everything laid out and I'm just going to start right here at the front. So that's my new laptop which I am so stoked about. It's super powerful, it's pretty much a beast. Uh, for any of you that are interested in that kind of stuff, it's got a Core i7. The graphics card is an NVIDIA 1070 and that's an 8GB graphics card and it's got like 16 gigs of RAM so it's super fast. Stoked to use that for video editing and produce some really cool stuff. And with that I've got the external hard drive over there to uh, save extra footage and back stuff up. Got a mouse, got my Skull Candy headphones, I really like these bad boys, they work really nicely. And a little bit further up there, I've got my Kindle for reading. Uh, it's just so handy having a Kindle, just travel around with that if you want to change books instead of lugging a big book. Because uh, as you'll see now, this bag doesn't fit all that much. So, And then I've got my GoPro session, which is going to be great for traveling around Da Nang. We're going to do some little motorbike trips, I think, and stick it to my helmet and we've got a little remote control there that you can actually activate the camera with and this is my favorite lens it's the sony e-mounts 35 millimeter f 1.8 it's amazing for cinematic shots and this here is my main camera the sony a6000 which is a pretty awesome camera for shooting video especially with the other lens it's really shoots some great shots and it's not even that expensive. Uh, there's a couple of new models, the A6300, the A6500. My main complaint is it doesn't have a flip out screen. That screen there doesn't flip all the way out, so I can't really see what I'm shooting. So I kind of just have to guess, but it works all right. Um, might upgrade at some point soon, but we'll see. It's uh, still pretty great for now. Got my passport. You should always take your passport with you when you travel around Vietnam, because if you need to book into a hotel, they want to see that passport. And when you get on flights, uh, it's also important. And I've got some awesome fake Ray-Bans, glasses case. This is a game changer. I don't travel without this ever. Just having an eye mask, because if it gets really light and early in the morning and you're trying to sleep in a little bit, it's almost impossible. Same with earplugs. It's just so useful to have earplugs, especially if you stay in like a noisy area or I don't know if you stay in a hostel or something like that and other people are making noise, it's awesome. Just a little lock, which is useful. Then I've got my Joby Gorillapod. I'm actually not going to take any of my tripods because I found when I travel around with this, I mostly just hold my camera or use this thing, which is so handy. It's like 
just bend it. You can like do all sorts of cool stuff with that. And you're not a proper YouTuber unless you have one of these, right? <laughs> so then just got my wallets. Uh, this is just to carry some stuff in, nothing really in there. Hats. When we come to clothes, just keep it simple. Like I've got two pairs of board shorts. I'm probably actually only going to bring one of them. And I've got two pairs of other shorts. Then a bunch of t-shirts. So I'm going for about six days. So I've got all those t-shirts. I don't know if I need all of them, but useful. And then just socks and underwear and stuff. And that's all going to fit into the bag. I'm basically just going to bring one pair of shoes, a pair of sneakers, which is awesome just for walking around. And you know, if you want to go hiking or doing whatever, they're perfect for that. So then I've got the bag. This is awesome bag. Um, it's pretty nice in terms of size. It can fit a lot of inserts and it's also carry-on size. And then this is my newest bag, which is a little on-the-go kind of camera bag, which you can use as a sling bag. So if during the day I don't want to go out and take too much stuff in this bag, then I'll just take this and it fits perfectly uh, my camera rig, which basically goes in here. And it's kind of nicely padded. It can fit like this camera that I'm filming with now, my microphone and the gorilla pod all in there. And it just swings out nicely so I can get it out very quickly and easily. And then just a sponge bag with basic stuff like toiletries. Honestly, I don't even take most of the stuff because if you stay in a hotel, you can get shampoo and soap and all of that. So just bring the basics, toothbrush, any moisturizers or sun cream, stuff like that. And here's my little microphone which goes on top of this camera. It's got the troll hair and clips right on top, record separately, but it's good for audio when you're out and about. So this is just for a short trip and I did make a video before on everything I own fitting into this bag plus that bag, um, which you can go check out too, which is quite interesting if you want to see like everything. But this is a nice size and amount to just bring with you on a trip and you don't have to check in a bag when you fly, so you can just bring it all on carry-on. So that's basically it. It's a few more cables and stuff which I just throw straight into my bag. But other than that, I think I've covered everything and there isn't really that much. I really like to travel light where possible and then you can get everything else you need when you're there. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this trip. It's gonna be awesome going to Da Nang. I haven't traveled around central Vietnam at all. So we're gonna do that. I'm going with Kyle from the team and we're meeting Jacqueline. Um, Pavina's staying here and Jacqueline's actually been living there and working for the team remotely from there. So she'll probably be able to show us some cool spots and take us around a little bit. And you guys will be able to come along and see that. So stay tuned, I'm going to try and be putting out videos every day over the next few days with our adventures and experiences out there. So stay tuned, make sure to subscribe and I will speak to you soon. Peace.